get it with us now. Nancy Keenan, president of Narrow Pro-Choice America. She called the Stupak Pitts Amendment an outrageous blow to women's freedoms and privacy. Also with us, Kathy Rue, senior fellow at the Family Research Council. That organization called the amendment a huge victory for women uh, and their families. Kathy, what was the victory? Well, the victory is that the question is elective abortions and who should be forced to pay for those, the individual or the government. Um, before, the Stup the, before the Stupak Amendment passed, Americans would be forced to pay for other people's elective that's not, abortions. That's not true. That's it is not true. true. That is under in, that both is the public option no, plan and true. under the federal subsidies. It's not true. Absolutely true. That's the, why the, the objection was to the use of the exchange. I'll have this debate, but you have to operate in the factual reality, which is you're saying that all of the private insurance being sold on a publicly established exchange cannot fund elective abortion. Stu and that Dylan, is not Dylan. federal dollars paying for abortion. That's federal dollars paying for an exchange upon which private insurance is sold where elective abortions are provided. Dylan, the Stupak Amendment Dylan. did two things. It, it prohibits federal funding for, for covering elective abortions, but it allows private insurers to carry coverage of elective abortions so long as no federal tax dollars yep. are involved. Yep. And let Dylan, me just highlight the point. Kathy, talking, you're not dealing with, you can't, just coming on television and lying is not journalism, nor is it actually beneficial to the country. Let's talk about what we're discussing, which is an ex the establishment of an exchange upon which private insurance will be bought and sold to establish a federal dollars. Nancy, you were going to say? Yeah, listen, we know that about 80 to 85 percent of private insurance companies today presently cover abortion care. And what the Stupak Amendment does is basically means that women will not be able to purchase uh, insurance coverage that covers abortion um, with their own money, with their own money in this new health care system. That's the reality of the Stupak Amendment, and it is outrageous uh, that, they, that they are saying that this is uh, good for women or that this is somehow uh, the status quo. This goes far beyond the yeah. status quo. Kathy, Kathy, you can, you can, you can see, if you answer my question, I'll keep you all day. If you just want to talk, I'm, I'm going to ask you to, 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 to go away. Uh, it, uh, why, is it, why is it a victory for women to ban women from being able to use their own money to buy private insurance that would cover elective abortion. How does a woman win by being denied the opportunity to use the money she makes working in our economy to buy private insurance that may provide her with elective uh, abortion? Why is that a victory for a woman? Most American women oppose federal funding of abortion. Uh, that, you know, that's not my question, Kathy. I'm asking you a very specific question. Ima imagine, close your eyes, imagine I'm a woman and I've got my own money and I want to buy a health insurance plan that gives me the possibility of an elective abortion. Stu back allows. No, it doesn't. Uh, Not on the yeah. exchange. That's it, the whole it point. Allows a per, it allows private insurers to cover elective abortions. It's not as true. Long as the federal That's dollars the whole point of it. It's crazy. Nancy, no. go Listen. ahead. It's no, not the no, entire this is point not of true. this. Let's, is to let's, use the fact that private insurance is sold on a publicly funded exchange to ban all private insurers from being able to sell coverage with elective abortion. They can sell yeah, coverage Dylan, with this, elective this abortion. Basically Hold on, Kathy. Hold additional. on, Kathy. D Dylan, this ba you are exactly right. This means that if if private insurance companies want to participate in the marketplace, in the exchange, they as private insurance companies are not allowed to have policies that provide abortion care because quite honestly they, they are just not going to go into the marketplace if only if it's not allowed in that marketplace. And that's why it is so far beyond the status quo and is so uh, unjust to women in this country who again want to purchase insurance with their own money are not allowed to do but it, it does under, seem like a good. It does, it does seem like a good way if you want to get if you want to reduce the availability of elective abortion in this country to basically prevent private insurance from paying for anybody to have an elective abortion. This is a go Kathy, ahead, hang Dylan. On. Go ahead, Dylan. Nancy. There. Dylan, there's a goal here. They want Roe versus Wade overturned num fundamentally, and they want to derail health care reform. And that is the strategy of this Stupak Amendment. They want to derail health care reform, and they're using this as a way to do it. And, and again, it is unconscionable that the women of this country are going to be denied, denied insurance coverage because of the Stupak Amendment. Yeah. All right. Listen, uh, uh, Kathy. Uh, uh, in the future, if you could just come with the inside the domain of the facts, it makes it for a more productive conversation. I, I recognize it's gratifying to cast the accusations because it gets people worked up. It's fun. You're like, ah, the government. I hate the government. Or a government's paying for, but the, it's not what's going on here. There's a, an exchange that's being established by the government upon which private insurance will be bought and sold with private individuals. And the argument in Stupak is that that exchange should not be a place where elective abortion can be conducted. It's more beneficial, I think, to the whole country if 
the debate is had inside the domain of reality as opposed to sort of just nonsense. Can uh, I talk I, about I the status quo? Can I make a point about that? We, we hear that this is going to change the status quo. Well, the status quo is today most American, most people pay for their abortions out of their own pocket. And, and while insurers carry abortion coverage, most employers don't include that as an offering in their uh, insurance. And so most Americans today don't have abortion, elective abortion insurance coverage. So what this would do without this two-pack amendment would be a massive expansion of insurance coverage of elective that is abortion so wrong. subsidized that is so by wrong. the federal government. <laughs> Americans are against this. 64 and Democrats Nancy, you make are your against last point this. And we'll get out of here. Th th that is so wrong. 80 to 85 percent of insurance policies in this country offer abortion coverage. And so the fact is, is that women who presently have that coverage are going to lose it. And the bottom line about health care reform was that people, women, should not lose what they already have. The Stupak Amendment uh, basically forces women to lose what they, coverage they presently right. have. Nancy Cathy, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Right now on, on MSNBC, President Obama is preparing to depart Andrews Air Force Base, headed to Fort Hood, Texas today to meet with the families of the service members killed in the Fort Hood massacre just last week. We'll continue to cover the president on his way to Texas this morning. We're back here on MSNBC right after this. Morning meeting is...